One of the things that's been really exciting this time out has been to to kind of just go back to go back to basics in, turn of, in terms of like actually practicing and relearning a lot of these songs. I never want anyone to think that there was a lot of friction within the band before the before the hiatus, but we definitely got a little bit tired of like of like you know of like seeing each other every day and whatever. So we didn't do a lot of things like practice and focus on things. If anything, I would say that these songs this time out sound more like the record you know we're playing it more we're playing it more carefully and more lovingly than we used to because i think we're that much great that much more grateful to be the four of us on stage together you know what i mean i personally learned that there is something to collaborative art it's fun to do passion projects it's fun to do but it's you know like i i, I think i'd forgotten and maybe all of us had forgotten that it was fun doing fall off boy at a time, and we were collaborating, and we were having fun with each other on stage, and I think that taking time off to do our own things probably helped us appreciate that, maybe, I don't know, helped me appreciate it. I learned how to work better with others, I think, a little bit. Learned how to write with a lot of other people, and also boring stuff like, you know, producing and engineering and and, and dumb stuff like that, that's helpful as well, but I learned how to work work, uh, better with teams, I think, and and, it helped to kind of, not only work with other people, but then also just do the straight up like musical masturbation of like, I'm just gonna make this stuff that is just for my own pleasure, just get it out of my system so I could go back and do something a little more palatable. I think we came into this record trusting each other a lot more Absolutely. because it'd be like, you know, any idea that you didn't have, somebody in the room had a pretty good one. You know what I mean? That was a that was an exciting thing. There's definitely new acts that we're stoked on. Um, maybe that like like waves. I think that He's great. I think that he A represents rules. something that's different, you know, that's out there that lives between genres. And it'd be cool to go on the road with him. I don't know if he would uh, thrash our entire set or how that would go. Ride but, the stone uh, pony with but, him. But getting to see, I got to see him at South by last year, and that was cool. Um, I'm excited to play with Foxes uh, at the Perez show. Young and and different, cool stuff. It's interesting. I think we are more in tune with the band we were on Take This To Your Grave now than we ever were. We can appreciate by, it more yeah, now. But by, by virtue of, of trying something different than it. Because at the time, that was a very strange and different thing. That was a really crazy thing for us to do. And, you know, Take This To Your Grave was really crazy. We all came from hardcore bands. And, and you know, we didn't have, you know, we would, try, we would go to these, we would go and play shows or whatever, and, and bands that quote unquote sounded like us around town hated us. All our hardcore friends would stand there like, yeah, this is awesome, I'd prefer to mosh, but you guys are great, but I, I can't really dance to this. Somehow, I don't know how we did it, but we just weren't really scared when we made that record. And this is the first time since that record that I feel like we haven't really been remotely scared about was, about it, it anything was, on the was, record, you know what I mean? It was really new and it was really exciting, and I think this, like you were saying, this is a similar experience.